Hi, my name's Jo Hart and I'm a dog groomer and today I'm going to talk to you about clipping your dog's claws. The first thing you need to do is make sure that they're comfortable. You need to really make sure that you're not going to scare them and that you're going to do it gradually so that they get used to it. So if you've got a rescue dog or even a puppy, you need to make sure that you do this gradually. We really don't want people kind of like pinning dogs to the ground or anything like that. That's not necessary. What you need to do is just be really, really gradual with the dog. Okay, so the first thing you can do, just get a good set of nail clippers. Now, the size of the nail clippers will depend on the size of the dog. If we say if you've got a big dog, then you need to have some stronger nail clippers to make sure that they can get through the, the nails. If you've got a smaller dog, then you can obviously just use smaller nail clippers. Okay, now this dog has obviously seen the nail clippers before, so she probably won't react. But with a lot of dogs, they won't like the sound, okay? And they won't like the feel of the clippers touching their nails. So what you want to do, just wait until your dog is relaxed. Izzy, down. Good girl. And you can start off, just let the dog sniff the clippers so they're not scared by the clippers. Then you're gonna make a bit of a sound near them, just like that. And as I said, this dog has seen them before, so she's not gonna react. Good girl. If the dog does react, then you just need to do it a little bit more, okay? And just keep doing it until they, they really do calm down. Obviously, she's not panicking at all, so you're quite comfortable to progress to the next level, okay? Then what you can do is just stroke the dog with the clippers. Good girl, Izzy. And that's just getting the dog used to the clippers being near their feet and also giving them a bit of a positive association with them. So praise the dog if they're comfortable. Good girl. Now, the next stage is obviously having the clippers touch the dog's claws. Good girl. Okay, bit of a reaction there. But she's quite comfortable now. Good girl. Good girl. Now, before we progress on to actually clipping the dog's claws, you should make sure that you've got something like this. Now, this is a coagulant. This particular one is called Trimex. And basically, you need this just in case you cut the dog's quick, okay? Now, that's basically the blood vessel in the dog's claw. And if you cut that, it will bleed. And it will bleed quite a lot. So you need to make sure that you've got something like that so that if you do cut the quick, you can then stop the bleeding quite quickly. If you happen to cut your dog's claws, um, without the Trimex and you do cut the quick, there are a couple of things that you can do just to stop the bleeding, okay? One of the simplest things that you can do is just use a bit of cold water. So if you run the claw under the cold water, it should stop the bleeding. Also, you can try a bit of flour. That can sometimes help with the bleeding. It's important to cut your dog's claws for a number of reasons. If your dog's claws grow too long, they can actually start to tap onto the floor and that can affect the way that your dog walks. Also, if you leave it a really long time between cutting your, your dog's claws, then the claws can actually grow all the way around and curl into the dog's skin, which is obviously really, really uncomfortable for them and can cause a lot of issues. How often you need to cut your dog's claws will depend a lot on the type of exercise you give them and also the type of dog that they are. If you've got a dog who's got claws which grow upwards then you might find that you need to clip them more often. If you've got a dog that's claws grow quite close to the floor and you happen to walk them where there's a lot of concrete then they will wear down a lot on them on their own. Okay. What you'll also find as well is that the back, the claws on the back feet will wear down quite a lot because the dog is using those claws and pushing them down and grinding them down as they run. Whereas on the front, you'll find that they don't often grind them down quite so much. So you might find yourself having to clip those front claws but not having to do anything to the back claws. Now, it's also important to make sure that you clip the dew claws. The dew claw is a claw which is up the dog's wrist slightly and onto the side, and it's on the inside of the leg. A lot of dogs actually have these removed before you've got them, if you've got a puppy. So if your dog hasn't got any, then you obviously don't need to do anything. If they have got them, it's important to keep those claws kept really short, okay? 
because those claws don't get ground down as the dog moves. This is a good example of a dog whose claws have been left too long. So basically what you can see is that when the dog is standing, the claws are actually touching the floor. The back ones are a bit better because they will have been wearing themselves down as the dog is moving, but they're still too long. And also if you look at these dog's dew claws, they're actually starting to curl round. This dog has also got back dew claws and they're not being used at all, so they are just curling round. And if these were left, then eventually they would curl right round and poke into the dog's skin, obviously causing the dog quite a lot of discomfort. Some dogs will need their claws clipped every week, and some dogs might need them clipped every six weeks. It's just dependent completely on your dog and the type of walk that you give them. So once the dog is comfortable and happy with the clippers, just calmly and gently take the dog's claw. Okay, take the clippers, place them around the dog's claw like so, and make sure that you clip upwards and just quickly close the hand all together so that it's done nice and quickly and just give them a bit of a praise. If the dog isn't used to having their nails clipped, then it's probably best just to do one or two just to get them used to it and praising in between. And then you can build up from there. Good girl. It's important to not clip the quick on the dog's claw, not only because um, obviously it will bleed, but also because when you, when you cut that, it does cause the dog pain, okay? Obviously that's something we want to avoid, but you also need to think if you do clip that, the dog's not going to be happy about you clipping their claws again. And it can qu take quite a while to then retrain them and get them comfortable with having their claws cut. So if you're not comfortable with cutting your dog's claws and you think that you're going to cut the quick, it's better off to just be, to do it carefully and only take a little bit off at a time. When claws are very overgrown, the quick can actually grow quite a lot into them. So it's important that you don't straight away take off a huge amount of the claw, otherwise you probably will cut into the quick. So what you need to do in that situation is take a bit of the claw and then leave it half a week, or maybe up to a week, and then clip it again. And that'll give the quick time to shrivel up back into the claw. If you're really worried about clipping your dog's claws, the best thing to probably do is to pop them along to a dog groomer or to a vet who will be happy enough to just give them a quick clip for you.